everybody welcome back to my channel today i will be reviewing the hot toy spider-man upgraded suit and yeah without further ado let's get into the video so first off i want to say i know i say this a lot in every single video but this figure right here is so amazing the actual figure itself looks amazing the articulation isn't the best but besides that it the looks are amazing so Let's get into the figure, starting off with the accessories. So, now to the accessory segment. He comes with a lot of stuff. He comes with a bunch of hands, um, a couple webs. So now, let's get into what he comes with. So, he comes with a pair of splayed out hands. He comes with a rested hand. He comes with a web gripping hand, and he also. And while we're on this, I'm gonna show you this web. So this is a web that you just put in between his hands, and I'll show. It's like if it was twirled up, and he was swinging from it. And this is how you just put it on. It's not very hard. It's just trying to figure out how to do it first and once you do it and that's how you do it so you can make a pose with him holding out his web just like that so, and twirled up it gives a good effect and it looks really nice and the actual web itself has like a silver to it because here on the bottom it just looks like a clear plastic with here it looks like uh, has a little bit of gray on it and then he also comes with um web shooting hands and the way you actually stick the webs in the hand is by replacing it with this little thing right here so what you do is you just take this part up and you can see a little seam line between there and you just want to wiggle your finger under there and then I find it too. I'll wiggle it on the other side and then wiggle it on this side too. Because the pegs are pretty small. Little small pegs. And then you grab the actual thing. And then you put this on his hand. And you match the pegs. And this is how you do that. And then talking about the webs, or how to put in them. This is, these are all the webs that he comes with. Okay, so uh, these are all the webs that he comes with. And one of the webs he comes with is one of these. So the way he actually uses this would be by using the same exact hand and putting this through the hole right here and just wiggling it in. And that's how you do that. And then you can make him look like he'd be swinging or do whatever you really want with that. Maybe make him attached to something. And then the, how you attach the actual webs to this hand is by using these things. So you have a long one, you have a little bald one with a little ball at the end. And you just stick the actual end piece of this into the hole it's kind of hard to do this okay and that's how you do that because he doesn't come with web shooters on the actual wrist so it'd be hard to do that as you can see he doesn't come with web shooters it's kind of hard to see so yeah he doesn't come with web shooters hmm. just realize that that is messed up so I'm bunched up right here, and it doesn't matter. Okay. And so, yeah, he comes with a couple long ones. And then he also comes with this, which you attach to the end of these. So that it looks like he's grabbing onto something. And then uh, he comes with a peace sign. And... Only for one side of the hand, though. 
and then a web holding hand or not a web holding a mask holding hand and I think that's it for the hands that I think that's all it and then now the he comes with the web wings which you just put under his armpits under his shoulders or under his arms right here they're hold on by magnets Ooh, there's he comes with one that comes in between his legs and then another one that's the same as the one I just showed so he comes with the mask which can be held in that hand and he comes with a little pole and what you use this for is so that you can use attach the drone to the actual stand and the way you do this is by you see a little hole on the bottom and you just try and match it and you just put it inside there and it stays in shouldn't fall out and you can put it on the display stand and pose it however you want to the actual drone itself has very well detail. It has like some brush effect to it. Like if it's been damaged or the paint has been chipped. He comes with a phone. And I think he's texting um not Mary Jane but MJ. Because in that universe her name is MJ, but not Mary Jane. So, he also comes with this clip. Which, the reason I'm not using that right now is because that would probably damage this. The actual suit part of it. But, while we're talking about the clip. Um, so, the actual clip on the inside is just has a little bit of foam. Very thin foam. So, it would be very easy for the suit to get damaged. And then it has this for back support so that he can swing and get him into poses. I do not recommend getting him into crazy poses. It probably damaged the suit. But he comes with the metal rod, which is poseable. It's, it's bendable. And then he comes with this nice looking Spider-Man Far From Home display base that looks very nice with the Spider logo and the Spider-Man far from home right there and then Spider-Man upgraded suit with a little bit of with a little symbol right there Looks very very nice And he can stand without it He just have big feet But not like very big feet. It's just big enough to hold him. I Just like putting him on there because it makes him look better and then he comes with uh, a pair of glasses which he can either hold in his hand or you can use the Tom Holland head sculpt which looks amazing the sculpt is a beautiful and the paint it's just amazing. The sculpted hair, the eyes, it looks amazing. And the way you attach this, the glasses to it is just over the ears, over the nose, and then just push that in. And then just push it. And that's how you put the glasses on. And the inside, it has a little bit of foam as well so that it doesn't scratch up the neck or mess up the neck. So now that's it, or there's one more thing. There's a, a couple lenses. There's some closed ones for that Spidey Sense scene and the squinted ones, another slightly more open, but still squinted ones, and then the very large eyes. And the way you take these off is by just, um, they say push it on the edge of the actual mask. I don't very much like that. 
I usually just would go in the edge with my finger, you know, and then just go like that and pull it off. It's held by magnets with a little hole in there. You just stick it on there and it looks nice and flush to this mask. So I think that's it for the accessories. Now let's get into that figure itself. So the figure itself looks very nice. It's such a cool looking figure. It is amazing. It looks amazing. And there's not much to say, but it's just amazing how good and movie accurate this suit looks. So first of all, here's the thing that they changed from the original ones. The seam is not very noticeable. Because on the tech suits, the from Homecoming, the seam was belted down here. And now it doesn't even look like it has a seam. And they used a rubber neck piece, it seems, to make the little collarbones and Adam's apple. And this part of the suit is like the Mezco Spider-Man um, suits because they use pretty much the same exact material. Just it's a little thicker than that or thinner. I'm not too sure. It feels weird. You know, this is thicker from the homecoming suit. But the material seems like it would crease because the material from the Mezco does um, look like it would get wrinkled and sometimes it cracked and it didn't hold, it didn't hold up. So, and these parts are like the, the blue parts of the suit from the Mezco Spider-Man, which uh, if that Mezco Spider-Man had both parts being the same material, it would have been way better. And the symbol is a raised up symbol. Of course, don't try and take it off. And then there's a bunch of detail in the arms, the back spider. You can see a cut right there where the suit is. And then the boots. Now they didn't fix this part. They didn't fix the how the fabric goes into this the actual ankle because on the far from home the tech suit spidey because they made two or no they made three they made no they made five they made a um the non-deluxe version for homecoming the homecoming version deluxe the um, one for far from home and then the one uh i think it was I forgot what it was. I think it was like one fourth scale. And they had two different versions of it. They had the deluxe and then they had the normal. So they had made five different versions of those. And on the uh, far from home version, they fixed the ankle problem. On here, it's not very noticeable because the actual foot is down. But if you put it up a little bit, it sinks in to the ankle, which is not very nice. But this figure does have toe pivot, which is amazing. And it looks just so cool. And if I have to compare it um, to the rest of my text, or not my text suits, but my um, Far From Home Spider-Man, uh, I'll just get those and I'll compare them. So these are all my um, upgraded suits Spider-Man from Far From Home. This is the Diamond Select version, and this is the Egg Attack version, and this is the Hot Toys version. So the Hot Toys version is 12 inch, which is one six scale. These are all both one twelve scale. Just this one is a little bit bigger than one twelve scale. Should be, one twelve scale should be six inches. This is about seven. And this is about the same height as this one. So this is about, they're both about seven inches. And as you can see, the material, because the material on the Egg Attack one 
is very different from the Hot Toys version. I thought it was going to be the same. Because this is like textured and this is more silky. And it's I thought I also thought that the the actual figure, like this part was gonna be the same, but this seems to be a lot thinner than this. This seems to be a lot thicker. The material. And it's textured way differently. And everything about it is just so different when I thought it would be almost exactly the same. Now they have released a new Marvel Legends version with a Tom Holland hair sculpt for No Way Home. And that one looks great. I'm probably not gonna get it, but it looks cool. I do like it. And yeah, so, but this figure is great. I think out of all of these, I think this one's still the best one, but this one's the best looking. And this is the best, like, to have. Because this one, you can pose a lot more than these two. Because this doesn't have fabric restricting the joints. So now, if we have to get into the articulation for the hot toys, we're going to get into the articulation now. So, the articulation is pretty basic. It's not anything new. We just change the lights, make it brighter. Pretty sure this is lower, so let me just nope, that's not the place it goes. Okay, but so the head can go up about that far. It can go down about that far. It can go side to side and it can go all the way around. I'm not going to force it to go all the way around, though. The arms are in ratchets, which they go out to about that much. They go, they have a butterfly joint that moves in that much, moves back that much, and goes around up to about there, goes back to about there. Has a butterfly, not a butterfly, a um, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows and then it this is like a um uh sh figure arts or a mayfex joint for the wrist and then it has two joints for the um abdomen and the chest or the stomach and chest it can move about that much with both it can go back that much with both it can go side to side and it can move, it can tilt. And the legs are also on ratchet, so they can go out, or one of them can go out to about that far. They can go up to about that far, go back to about that far. And then the knees are also double jointed. So that's how far you can get that. And then the ankles have some uh, swivel to them. They go back that much. They go up that much. I would recommend putting them in poses that would go with this. Because that would pinch the skin eventually. Or the fabric, which would eventually uh, probably rip it. And go side to side like that. And then toe pivot. So, overall, this figure is amazing for the price it is. It's, it's decently high, but for what you're getting out of it, it's it looks amazing. I think the price is very high, but what you're getting out of it is very nice, I must say. Because this figure is absolutely beautiful and it looks amazing. So that's it for the review, and I hope uh, to see you guys later, and goodbye.